Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, so this video was not supposed to be a video. Um, the client that ordered these uh, was in quite a rush and uh, I stepped in, let's say, and uh, so, I, but I managed to finish these a little bit early and I have time to well, like uh, talk you through what I'm doing on the smaller one of these. Uh, the bigger one I just film uh, for the Instagram and uh, Facebook, but I'm going to show you that footage as well. Uh, and yeah, this is how I roll <laughs> when I have any type of production work. I always like to put the music here, put the, on the Bluetooth and play the music or some podcast or anything like that. And uh, the screen went a little bit dark. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to tune you in and at the end of the video, I'm going to explain you what these are. Here we are now at the lathe and uh, most of these shapes or measurements I do by eye but some of the major critical ones like uh, length and uh, this section here and the uh, ball here I do with the measurement and then the shape of the ball here I do by eye and I always keep a few of these here sort of as a reference line when I'm turning I also watch uh, the shape here uh, so I'll put the blank on and, uh, this is pine by the way And uh, I'll rub this down with a skew chisel. Uh, this is 25 mil wide. A sorbet chisel, skew chisel. It helps if you bring the microphone closer to your mouth. There we go. Hopefully you hear me a little bit better. First story stick. It's a piece of wood with a little notch for the pencil here. Works awesome. Skew and I'm just going to set the top first. And I have this wide parting tool. And a different kind of diameter goes here at the middle and at the end. I'll take away this excess here. This isn't crucial, this point here is. And I'll just scoop out this a little bit. And uh, now the, the fun bit, making the, the ball here. Uh, and again, I'm watching this by eye. The right side and I always step back a little bit and watch what's happening or you can use one of the already made and just sight through
Okay, that looks okay. Now I would usually put my head uh, right here where the camera is so I can see a little bit better what's going on. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Here is a little higher spot, so this is a little bit tricky cut. Okay, that's better. Again, I don't see here much because the camera is right where I would be, so this is a little bit awkward cut for me. So the ball part here is pretty much done, uh, so I can continue on with the rest here. And uh, for this end, I have another story stick. Again, this is pretty much done by eye. And I need a nice crisp shoulder here. There we go. And uh, I need a tenon on this end. Uh, on this end, I need a tenon. There we go, that's over. But I just cut here the tenon, so nothing special. And uh, I want to clean up the shoulder here. Make sure you keep the skew on the side. Now this is another mark and just above that mark I want to put a little scoring line and again this is another measurement that I do by eye. You can see here it's roughly um, 7 mil, 6 mil something like that over the shoulder so I'm shooting for that and I don't measure it just do it one more there we go and now spindle gouge and make a um, call here want to double check before I finish this part here uh, and start to sand if there is any chip out or anything like that pine likes to chip out uh, but this is by the look of it everything nice and clean because I've cut it and not scraped and yeah I can continue on with uh, sanding uh, actually I just need to get this point a little bit further down so I can sand pretty much all of the the ball part here. Position the camera so I can actually see what I'm doing here. So I want to extend this a little further down into the point. But still leave enough meat um, to hold on. while I sand and that should be it and now I just 
parked it off here. There we go. And uh, with the skew, I like to, let me just adjust the focus. I like to nibble away this. There we go, and just hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and that's it. And uh, here they are now lined up. Uh, now this is a sample that I've received. So what this is, this is a stamp, like a big, uh, you know, like old school stamp. And uh, the artist who ordered these will put uh, some sort of a sign on the bottom as well. And uh, yeah, it should be quite neat. Uh, so I made already one of the big ones. Uh, and uh, sprayed it and everything that was a separate order but these had to be quite in a rush and you can see these are quite similar especially the smaller one and the big ones as well you can see they're quite similar and uh, for the big ones i had to glue up uh, two sides to get the thickness uh, because these uh, cannot be less than 100 mil diameter and uh, again, these are all done by hand, the top, the ball part, so you can see they look quite good. And these smaller ones, and this is the base, the sample base for the smaller. I'll just put that in, and you can see that's quite nice. Yeah, so a little small fast production run and um, hope you like this video again it wasn't supposed to be uh, because again it it was a job in a rush to do but i managed to finish it a little bit early so i managed to uh, film at least one of